Good evening, Philippines. Good day to all. This is Mike Padua, and we are back again to our latest weather analysis. This is the weekend edition of our update for today's Saturday until Monday, November 18 to 20, 2023. And this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Abuitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarilla Sur. And we would like also to promote the uh, Comunidad Climate Action Center. If you're willing to uh, uh, take a look at their uh, product, just visit our website, typhoon2000.ph, and click on the Comunidad banner for you to check out the uh, Google form. Uh, so that uh, you can uh, submit it. Okay, so let's begin now with the latest update. Here's the graph set for today, Saturday, until uh, tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, the northeast monsoon is quite strong right now, and it's now affecting the whole of Luzon and Visayas, doing some busy conditions with slightly lower temperatures, but not yet so cold, okay? Just right. And it's bringing winds of up to 60 kph and the coastal uh, waters of the Philippine Islands will be rough and dangerous to small fishing uh, vessels, small sea crafts. So please do take all necessary precautions. Avoid uh, going out to the uh, ocean to uh, have some uh, uh, fishing activity. It's uh, not uh, suitable at this uh, time of uh, the day and also to uh, Sunday or Monday. And aside from the northeast monsoon, we have the shear line. It's being bringing some isolated to scattered to widespread rain showers and thunderstorms across the Visayas, particularly Samoa, Leyte, Masbate, uh, portions of central and western Luzon as well. And also over the southern sections of the Bicol region like uh, Sorsogon, Mas, uh, I mentioned Masbate already, Tikau, Burias, Grandwanes, and Albay. While here over uh, Naga City and Camarines Sur and Camarines Norte, we are experiencing some mostly cloudy skies with uh, winds up to 50 kph. No rainfall is being felt uh, as of this time, but uh, in the next 24 hours, we expect passing rainfall, uh, especially in the afternoon and evening by tomorrow, Sunday. And uh, uh, the good news of uh, XTD17W continues and it's now dissipating. Actually, Joint Typhoon Warning Center is already uh, canceling the uh, updates on this uh, low pressure system. Its low level circulation center is already hard to, to uh, locate and it's likely to be absorbed into the shear line. Actually, some of its uh, western uh, rain bands are already within the shear line or the tail end of a frontal system or called the front. Okay, and the LPA at the back, 98W, has disappeared as well and it's already embedded within the surface trough and uh, so watch out for possible flooding and landslide in uh, flood prone areas of uh, so watch out for possible flooding and uh, landslides in areas affected by the shear line when the next uh, 24 to 48 hours the shear line will eventually will eventually uh, weaken and uh, it will be just the northeast uh, monsoonal uh, flow that will be the dominant uh, wind system. But uh, early next week, there will be still some uh, diffused shear line that will bring rainfall across uh, Visayas and uh, portions of Mimaropa like Palawan. And so far, that's the uh, uh, latest from our GovSat. So we are blessed enough that the... Uh, Philippine Islands is free from any tropical cyclone threat this month of November. And thanks to the early arrival of the Northeast Monsoon, supposedly they arrived during uh, the middle of December, but right now it's early by a month, and mainly because of the uh, persistence, because of the uh, moderate to strong El Nino, which is changing the patterns of the climate uh, this uh, season or this year. And also the uh, strong upper level environment, strong level, also the strong upper level winds are not conducive for tropical cyclone development. That's why uh, the uh, three low pressure systems has dissipated uh, during the past few days until this weekend. And for the uh, fast animation, there you go. These are only upper level to mid level clouds. 
uh, leftover of the uh, LPA and already embedded within the shear line and here's uh, LPA 98W disappearing over the uh, uh, surface trough and uh, there will be another circulation here but it will be uh, moving towards the um, northeast in this direction because of a uh, departing uh, frontal system and so far so good if we check a we, if we take a look at the windy.com uh, uh, zoom in situation and uh, you can clearly see here the thick uh, rain bands with some isolated thunderstorms but it's not much only mostly cloudy skies and in, even at the infrared uh, section it's only affecting uh, Samar, Masbate and some portions of uh, uh, Visayas and here it's mostly cloudy without any rainfall and if we take a look now at the uh, mm, wind and pressure uh, forecast from the European model from windy.com so right now we still have the northeast monsoon affecting uh, Luzon up to Visayas and uh, by tomorrow afternoon Sunday it will start to weaken and it will just affect the uh, coastal waters and coastal areas of Bicol region from Camarines Norte down to uh, Eastern Sorsogon, uh, and one is included, and also here across the uh, coastal areas of uh, Aurora and Northern Quezon, including Pulillo. So expect some visual conditions of up to 50 to 60 kph. And on Monday, the Northeast monsoon will start to retreat over the Philippine Sea, and uh, it will uh, interact with a new LPA here but this LPA will uh, have a characteristics of a subtropical in nature which means it will be a part of a frontal system soon and it will track towards the so this will track towards the northeast as well and there's no longer the, uh, the circulation of LPA uh, or XTD 70W is no longer to be found here so this is just the northeasterly wind flow on Monday and on Tuesday the uh, uh, frontal system has uh, weakened and we are only uh, uh, having some diffuse shear line here and uh, a uh, low pressure system which is elongated it's nothing to worry about and on Wednesday it's no longer there okay it uh, disappeared it uh, disappeared on the Wednesday November 22 forecast of the European model there's a low pressure that will form here to the west of Palawan maybe this is part of the remnants of uh, XTD 17W even if we look at the American model it's all clear until November 27th so it uh, it looks that it looks like our month of November is uh, having some uh, typhoon free situation okay no formation whatsoever into a tropical cyclone and uh, we still don't know what will be in store this coming December let's hope and pray it will just be this it will just be this uh, occasional monsoon rains in the shear line not a tropical cyclone or low pressure system now for the rainfall uh, forecast for the next three days until Tuesday so today the rainfall are more concentrated over southern Bicol, eastern Visayas and uh, tomorrow morning, Sunday, it will start to uh, weaken a bit. Uh, there is still some uh, possible rain showers, occasional rain showers over Bicol and uh, Visayas because of the uh, northeast monsoon and the shear line. Sunday afternoon we expect again increasing cloudiness over Visayas because of the leftover of the shear line here some thunderstorm activity also over some wrong peninsula and a uh, portion of Bicol region like Albay and Legaspi and uh, Monday morning it's beginning to clear things up over Bicol region and the leftover of the shear line is moving more to the west southwest affecting Sulu archipelago okay and then on Tuesday afternoon there you go more thunderstorms is in store are in store over Palawan and the Sambanga Peninsula while improving weather can be seen over the Bicol region and on Wednesday 
it looks like it's gonna be hot and busy over the zone including Bicol and also to the afternoon much of the rainfall are now concentrated to the west of Palawan because of the developing low pressure system leftover of 17W I think which moved towards the west and their Mindanao and Visayas are still having some localized thunderstorms actually this is a uh, blessings seeing and if you take a look at the three-day rainfall accumulation and this is valid until uh, Monday so the bulk of the rainfall are more concentrated over Palawan, Sulu Archipelago, Visayas and the eastern sections of the Bigel region and mainly because of the uh, shear line uh, which generates thunderstorms over this area but this is good news to the farmlands and the groundwater of every uh, uh, land areas of uh, Bicol and uh, Visayas uh, just uh, think about it that this uh, rainfall is much needed for our aquifer or the groundwater beneath our uh, uh, land particularly over our mountains like here in Naga we have Mount Isarug if we have rainfall it will uh, uh, help to fill up the groundwater for our day-to-day -day use it's particularly the Metonaga water district wherein we get our water from these springs uh, coming from this aquifer beneath the uh, mountains so it's it helps a lot so don't uh, take it as a negative uh, negativity don't don't take it uh, uh, as a negative because if we have rains it causes floods but it, it also have a positive outlook particularly we are moving into the peak uh, months of El Nino until May so we expect decreased rainfall and uh, this rainfall that we are experiencing right now although it's below normal it will help to fill up the aquifer or the groundwater for us to drink uh, when we reach the uh, hot dry season uh, which is uh, on a uh, El Nino uh, kind of uh, climate okay so uh, that's the forecast for the next three days and we will return again next week to give you more updates on the weather from Typhoon 2000 this is Mike Padua saying uh, happy weekend to all and uh, thank you so much for watching our channel